Welcome back to Paper and Plates. My name's Natasha and today I am bringing you my recommendations to help you get ready to head back to school or if you're wanting to restock your office with some office supplies. I've got a bunch of different recommendations here for you. Before we get started, I want to remind you to please hit subscribe down below, to like this video if you'd like to see more content like this, to share this video with others that you think would be interested in this kind of content, and to connect with me on my social media platforms, which are all linked in the description box down below. Also, as usual, in the description box, I've got all of the products that I have mentioned in this video linked, and uh, their prices listed, and I also have my timestamps in the description box so you can jump to whichever section you're most interested in. Alright, let's get started! So the first category that I have for you are pen recommendations. So for students, I have lower end pens recommended, particularly because I think either you um, may not be able to afford more expensive pens or they're a little bit uh, less scary to lose. Uh, frankly, I lost quite a lot of pens when I was in school, so I wanted to offer some good options there. The first pen that I have is the, um, th they're in price order, so from lowest to highest. So the first one is um, actually, we'll start with the um, Pilot Varsity. The Pilot Varsity is just under $4, and on Goulet they sell um, medium nibs, and I can take a look and see if I can find a retailer that sells any other nib sizes. I'm not sure if they come in different nib sizes, but I've only seen them on Goulet and Medium. They come in a lot of different colors, and they're really great because they are good throwaway pens. They're meant to be thrown away, but you can also eyedropper convert them, which is fantastic because you can increase the ink uh, capacity, which is great for students. You don't have to worry about running out of ink then. So that's pretty cool. So that's the first recommendation. My next recommendation is the one I almost grabbed is the Jinhao Shark Pen. And so I think this pen is really fun because it is a great way to introduce maybe younger students to fountain pens just because they have a little face on them. They're kind of cute. They're really fun. But also, and they come in a lot of colors too. But they're also really good for students because they work on cheaper paper. So I, I tested them on Mead notebook paper and at least from Goulet they sell an extra fine nib and that extra fine nib is so super fine that I, I tried different inks and all of the inks worked really well on cheap paper. They didn't bleed, they didn't um, show, uh, go, show any ghosting. So I think for students that would be really nice. The other good thing about these pens is that they too are eyedropper convertible um, or can be eyedropper convert converted so that you can increase the ink capacity. They do come with a converter inside so you can just use them with bottled ink if that's what you prefer with with a cartridge or yes you can convert them and increase that ink capacity so I think that's a great recommendation and if I didn't already say it this too is just under four dollars so it's a really affordable pen for students the next pen that I'm recommending is the Twisby Eco. I think it's a great pen for anyone that needs a large ink capacity. As you can see, it is a piston fill pen, so you have the entire body that you can fill with ink. And so that's great for anybody that's on the go that doesn't want to worry about eyedropper converting a pen or just, you know, having to worry about ever filling up a pen. These pens have lasted me months with ink, but of course that depends on how much you write. They do have multiple different nib options, so you can take a look on, at least on Goulet's website for those. I, ha I usually buy my Ecos from Goulet, but other retailers sell them as well. It is postable. The other pens are postable as well, but this one you have to just keep in mind that because the back twists to fill it with ink, when you have it posted, you don't want to accidentally twist the cap on the back and squirt ink out because 
it, it fits right on the back. And you do have to push down a little hard. I don't actually know if it's intended to be posted, but I post mine all the time. But yeah, you just don't want to twist that cap and squirt ink out everywhere. So those are my recommendations for pens. After recommending pens, there has to be a place to keep your pens. And so I have a few pen cases that I'd like to recommend. So the first one is my daily carry pen case, and that is the Knock Lookout case. Um, I don't know, recall what the material is called that they make these cases out of, but it's very durable. I throw this case in my purse and backpacks and all kinds of different bags. I've thrown it in a gym bag. I throw it in my back pocket. Um, it has held up really well over the last year since I bought it at the 2017 DC Pen Show. I love that the inside has this surprising pop of color and all of them have these two-toned colors and so if you are into that that's pretty cool. And it has three slots inside so you can carry three pens or three writing instruments. I keep a fountain pen, a highlighter, and a pencil inside. And so I think for students or anybody that's working that wants to be able to carry either three pens or three different writing utensils, this is easy and it's small and you can carry it around um, pretty efficiently with you. And so that's my top recommendation. This is $25 retails for $25. Oh, one other reason I really like it is because I think it's pretty good for just, you know, opening and closing pretty easily, as opposed to some other cases that you have to zip or um, zip and unroll and then roll back up and zip back up. It's just, it's less hassle than some other pen cases. So that's my, re my first recommendation for a pen case. The next two pen cases that I'm recommending, I don't own but I did want to give you a couple of more options, so I did some research. The second one is another knock case, and it's called the knock seed case. And I think that one is really cool because inside you can fit an A5 sized notebook. So it's really great because you can carry two pens and a notebook, and in the back it has a card slot so you can throw business cards or, uh, I don't know, if you'd want to keep your credit cards in there, uh, but you could, I guess, if you felt secure enough to do that, that you wouldn't lose the case. But essentially, it's a slot small enough for cards. And so it's just a more compact way to carry a notebook and your pens. And that, I believe, comes in the same durable material. The third pen case is one that's a, a much lower price point that may be more affordable for some and that I found on Amazon's website and I think that's really great for people who aren't worried about their protecting their pen so the knock cases have slots for each individual pen. The third pen case is called the uh, Lee Hit Lab Pen Case. That one is um, just a normal pen case. Uh, you might be more used to that where you, um, it, it's just a zippered pen case and you just kind of can dump all of your pens into a slot and uh, they touch each other. So if you're working maybe with a shark pen in a varsity and you don't mind them bumping each other, that's the kind of pen case it is. So you could get a one slot version or a two slot version. So the one slot version just has that one pocket, you throw all your pens, erasers, whatever in there, and then the two slot version has that pen side and then it has a side where you can put uh, cords or flash drive or any other things that you need to be um, held securely in place. So that's linked down below so you can see those two options as well as the uh, different colors that those come in. They come in a lot of different colors and they are, um, they range from nine to thirteen dollars depending upon the one or two slot version that you get and the colors that you choose. So I think those are really cool looking. So check those out. Okay, so the next product that I wanted to recommend to you is another one that I don't own but I think is really great and I intend to order one when I place another fountain pen order and that's a highlighter. I never considered buying a highlighter uh, or a fountain pen, pen brand highlighter before and doing the research for this video I came across it and I thought that is perfect for people who are familiar with fountain pen brands um, or that uh, want something that's maybe more um, I guess long term than most highlighters and the reason I say that is it's the platinum preppy highlighter and it comes with one cartridge. It's a cartridge highlighter. 
um, and you can of course buy additional cartridges but you can also eyedropper convert that and buy bottled ink and continue to fill that unlike a store-bought highlighter that you throw away after it runs out so if you want something that lasts much longer, you can buy this highlighter and it's just under $3. It's a $2, I'm forgetting the exact price point, but it's a $2 and something, some change. A highlighter and you can buy replacement tips for it it's a felt tip highlighter and so the tips are three dollars you get a pack of two that you can replace over time so really you can keep this highlighter for as long as you want and and continue to change the, the color so you can buy one color and buy ink for a different you know colored or different colored ink than the original pen you bought you can kind of customize it the way you want so I think that's really cool Okay, so getting into the final category that I have for the recommendations, the notebooks. And I have, you can probably see off to the corner here, a huge pile of notebooks to recommend to you. So I'm going to start with my, one of my tiniest piles here and hopefully you're familiar with this brand because I really love it. This is what I use at work every day and it's called Black and Red this is the wallet size so i actually carry one of these in my purse every day and i um carry they have an a5 size notebook so i use the a5 size at work and then i use this letter sized version at work this is a hard bound version they also have a um a sewn version that's hard bound so it's a um a different cover it's more of a cardboard looking they have a lot of different options based on what what you like so i'll have a few links down below that you can peruse and and see what you like i like the wire bound because i like it to lay flat when i'm writing and i like to be able to flip it backwards also when i'm writing and have it lay down flat but um, i also really like this poly cover so the small one i have in the a5 one that i use at work also those have poly covers and so that's flexible so you can see there but yeah i like folding that back that's how i use it at work it's fountain pen friendly paper in my experience but it is not marketed as such uh, i've used it for years now and with fountain pens different nib sizes different types of ink i've even used it with stub nibs very wet inks and i have never had problems with that it's bright white paper it's ruled perforated i think it's really great for using at work I highly recommend giving it a shot. The notebooks range from five to ten dollars on Amazon, so they're not very expensive. And I think they're great for students as well because of those size options, the price point. And so I do recommend giving them a shot if if you're interested in the um, the perforated lines. The other notebooks I'm going to show you are more customizable, so it just depends on what's going to work for you on a daily basis. So that's my first recommendation. So the next notebook that I'm going to recommend is Filofax. As I mentioned, this is a customizable notebook system. I first learned about Filofax because Goulet carried it and now they don't. It, uh, I have their pocket sized notebook and I carry this in my purse every day to keep small notes in or quick notes in and all of the notebooks come with a small ruler and tabs that are unlabeled so you can either write on those tabs or put stickers on them you can pull out the pages or pull out the tabs and move them around in the notebook to customize it as you'd like so that's good for work or for school so you can fit it to your life the best way you can these are pretty affordable the I'll have, um, if I can find some of the smaller ones, I mostly find the A5 size, but if I can find some of the smaller ones, I'll link them. I definitely have A5 size ones linked in the description box below. They range around $25. And so they're, they're decently affordable. You can buy paper refills. They have lined paper, plain paper with no markings at all. And um, the graph paper or quad paper is what they call it. 
so again based on what you need for your life you can buy all or <laughs> some of of any of those options it is a fountain pen friendly though i do find that with some inks the paper can bleed or the inks can bleed on the paper but i use this size for my ink sampling and i generally find it to be fantastic for that the cream colored paper can bother some people it doesn't bother me at all but i uh, i just want to point out that it does i've never found white paper in this brand so just to let you know it only seems to come in the cream colored paper so that's filofax paper the last notebook system that i wanted to share with you is my favorite of all of them and it's what i use the most i think uh or i'm starting to use the most across all aspects of my life um is circa so i have here a what they call the um, junior size as well as their letter sized notebook. So the junior sized notebook is a leather cover and the leather covers as you can imagine can be a little bit expensive. They can range, they do go on sale a lot, but they can range anywhere from $40 to $100. I do have some linked below that I found on Amazon. The I believe um, the sliver cover is what I could find on Amazon, but that they I do recommend checking their website. They have very expensive shipping on their website, so I tend to go into their store to actually make purchases. And I do recommend if you have one near you and you're interested in Circa, go into a store. And they do have a 25% off military discount if you have an ID, and make sure they put that in the system because it makes it easier for you in the future when you go to make purchases if they have that in the system and they can process you faster. Um, I just learned that 25% 25 mil off military discount. But um, I do recommend going into the store to make purchases because their, their shipping is exorbitant online unless you're buying over $100, at which point it's free shipping. Sometimes, it is not a guarantee, sometimes if they don't have an item in store, they can give you free shipping to order it from in store and have it shipped to you at home. But sometimes they can't honor that. They do try, but they just can't always do that. And they need management approval to do that. So it's just, it can be a hassle sometimes. But their products are amazing. I do recommend them. They're just expensive. So let me just tell you more about them. Highly customizable system. So most of the notebooks are um, in, or all of the notebooks, I'm sorry, all of the notebooks come with this kind of paper. It is lined paper and it has this box on the side so you can take notes over here and then keep um, less maybe structured notes on the side. I don't love this paper. I actually bought their dot grid paper, which I really like. And so I use that for my to do lists and just my general note taking every day. And so I actually replace this paper in all of my notes. My letter sized notebook I use for my YouTube planning. And so I actually will use this paper in that notebook. So I, I do like it for that. I also like that I can Add, because this paper is custom because these notebooks are customizable I can pull pages out and move them around I also will add pages into my notebooks from meetings and such because I have their hole punch right here I have one of their heavier duty or heavier duty no no punches hole punches um, so I can, for example, print out like my YouTube notes here and then hole punch them and put them in my notebook. And then I also have handwritten notes in here on the Circa paper, which is fountain pen friendly paper. And they advertise it as fountain pen friendly paper. I did see some reviews on Amazon that said that the paper that they purchased wasn't fountain pen friendly. They had some ghosting or they had some bleeding. I've been using this paper for almost a full year now. I have never had that problem. I've used it with different nibs, different inks. I've used it with very wet stubs, just like I did with black and red. I have no issues at all with Circa paper. And so I 
give it my full recommendation. But please leave comments down below if you've had different experiences. I'd love to hear that. Inside the notebooks, you have a full pocket here and that spans the length of the notebook. And so you could slip paper in there and then you have two mini pockets that are split down the middle of the notebook. Seamed, uh, there's a seam sewn here. So you can slip in business cards or um, uh, the smaller pieces of paper so you can just keep things in your notebook there the larger notebooks do have this uh pen i haven't taken this off because i just bought this notebook but they do have i can pull it off now so you can see but they do have a pen loop so if you're interested i don't keep a pen here but you can do that if you're taking it to meetings which is really convenient the other great thing is you can buy replacement paper so the paper comes in three packs of 300 sheets i have dot grid paper as i mentioned they have plain paper that comes in smaller packages they have um, lined paper that spans the full length of the page so not with that box on the side um, and they may have other options. Those are the ones that I've seen recently, but they also have a whole system of customizable um, special order paper that you can choose from. And they have that section on their website. So please take a look at that. They have calendaring systems. They have bullet journaling systems. So you just have to take a look and, and see what works for you. And they also have tiny little things like this where you can have just to-do lists and these are much less expensive. Like I bought this when it was on sale for $5, but it was just on super sale for 85 cents. And so that, you know, you can find deals like that when you buy from Levenger. And just so you know, if you ever buy any of their notebooks, they all come in boxes like this. And so if you get something for a student as a gift or um, someone maybe got a new job, the notebook will come in that box and it has a dust cloth inside that the notebook is wrapped in. So I think that's a pretty nice touch for the notebooks. Well, those are my recommendations for products for those of you that are headed back to school or restocking your offices. Please leave a comment down below if you are going to try any of the products that I've recommended today or if you've already tried any of those products or if you have any other products that you recommend that someone try. As a reminder before I head out, don't forget to subscribe and hit like if you'd like to see more content like this. And please don't forget to share with others if you think they'd be interested in this kind of content. And lastly, connect with me on my other social media platforms. Those are linked down below in the description box. I'll see you next time on Paper and Plates.